Hello there, Parkview. It's me, Tommy, with your world news. Transition whoosh! The first story I have for you today is about one of my favorite topics, robots. Atlas, seen here, is the latest creation of US-based Boston Dynamics, a robotics company partially funded by the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA for short. This is also the company that brought us the Wildcat, an animal-like robot that can trot on four legs at speeds up to 28.3 miles per hour. Atlas, a humanoid robot, can cross rough terrain and stand on one leg. It is unclear where this project can go, but it's going places. Our second story today concerns malaria. Malaria, a disease transmitted by mosquitoes in unclean environments, has killed many many people. But science says that there is a hope for a vaccine by 2015. Most of the places affected by malaria are in Africa and Asia, and doctors there say that a good amount of their patients are malaria victims, and there is little to do in regards to a cure. The only help these patients receive are more preventative measures earlier on, such as mosquito nets on their beds and advanced bug sprays. But these do little to help the people who can't afford such things so a vaccine would obviously help. The company, GlaxoSmithKline, a medicine company, obviously, will submit an application for field testing in 2014, with hopefully a vaccine by 2015, provided the results found are proof enough that the vaccine works. Sound effect. Our third story for the day is about space travel. As many of us know, space tourism, or commercial space travel, is not too far away. But will it be possible for everyone? Science tells us it will not. You see, space travel requires quite a bit of physical prowess to take on, and it is said that the training required can be as stressful on the human body as the trip itself. People have compared it to training for Everest, except instead of scaling a mountain, you get flung around a training room in a giant metal ball and brought to extreme heights only to be brought back down after mere seconds. Few people have attempted this training extensively, and fewer have completed it. Really, the only people who have completed this training are the astronauts themselves. But as soon as a more viable training method arises, space tourism is a dream that we just can't reach. Well, that's all I have for you today, Parkview. You stay classy.